if I had to put a stat on it, close to 85%, I'd say, of the women that come to me are in really high-flying jobs and super amazing. Oh, my gosh. Gorgeous. So, so successful. Intimidating at every level. And then what they really want when it comes to heterosexual relationships is to learn how to soften, learn how to attract. If they've not done the work, they might call him an alpha. They might say, I'm looking to attract an alpha male. But what they mean is, I don't know how to step out of my masculine energy, embrace my feminine, welcome a man that brings polarity and duality into my life. Yeah, this is what the feminists, don't understand about being incredibly successful as a woman is that the more successful you are as a woman the higher level of success you want as a man because women don't want to date down they want to date up so if a woman earns 100k she doesn't want to date someone who earns 40k or 60k she wants to date someone who earns more in the same sense if you said there's a woman who's six foot two and she's struggling to find a partner You'd say, yeah, because she's six foot two and she doesn't want to date someone who's five foot ten. She wants to date someone who's a little bit taller than her. So if men date down and women date up. So all that happens when a woman moves up the hierarchy of financial prowess is that her pool of men to choose from goes down. So when the people that are coming to you saying that they want an alpha, they basically just want someone who earns more than them. But if you earn a lot of money, there aren't very many people who earn more than you. 